Hi, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to assign a quick key um, to an application. One of the applications that I use quite often is the snippet tool. And um, what that does is basically you can snip um, uh, portions of the internet or a document, anything on your screen basically. If I wanted to snip this picture right here, this image, I could do that with the snippet tool. I'll show you that in a second. This tutorial is basically on how to assign a quick key. You could assign an, a quick key to any of the items on your taskbar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hover over the snipping tool and um, first of all actually what I'm going to say is that my taskbar is here on the right hand side. Yours is probably on the bottom. You can assign your taskbar to be run along the bottom, the right, the top or the left. I prefer mine over here so that's why it's there. So and I added the snipping tool to my taskbar um, through the start menu and it's fairly easy to do that. Um, you just find um, the app on your start menu and right click and say add it to the taskbar and you can do that with any program as well. But this tutorial is going to be assigning a quick key on to um, um, any application. You could do this with the um, calculator. I also have um, the calculator here uh, added to my taskbar so I could assign a quick key for that as well. You could do whatever, assign a quick key to whatever you want. So to do that what you do is you hover over the icon of whatever you're going to be creating the quick key for. You right click and now you'll see I've got snipping tool here. Right click on that again and now you'll see this box pop up and I'm going to click properties. And then what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to drag this over here so that it's easier to see. And you'll see shortcut key, it says none. So I'm just going to um, hover over that and none. And I'm going to depress the control shift key and the F11 key. And now you'll see that those keys are in here. Now what I suggest that you do is wherever you're going to use the application, whatever you're creating the quick key for, go to that application and use the quick keys that you've decided that you're going to assign um, to the task. And, the, and I say that because uh, quick keys are already assigned to various applications and um, to find out whether it's already an assigned quick key then you'll want to depress those keys and see if, um, if an application opens up. Okay, so I did that already. I know that this is these, this quick key combination is not assigned to anything. And so then I say apply and I say okay. And now um, let's pretend that I did want to snip this Windows um, uh, image here. I would do the Control Shift F11 key and you'll see that the snipping tool pops up. I would say new. And what happens when the snipping tool is um, activated is everything gets gray and you get this plus sign that you'll see here. I'll, I'm moving it around. And then what you do is you just use your mouse and drag what you want to cut. So if I wanted to drag less, of course, I would make the box smaller. If I wanted more, I would have started um, dra like highlighting um, a lot further away than you let go. And voila, you have an image in the snipping tool. And um, the nice thing about this as well is, let's say that you wanted to um, make a note to somebody, you can actually use the tools. And if you wanted to make a note, if I wanted to say hi, um, well, maybe I wanted to give some instructions. I'm just going to say hi for the sake of this. Then you could basically um, use the pen tool. Um, you can also highlight things. So I'll just highlight this. And um, another thing you can do is, let's say that I decided that that's not the word that I wanted. I could use the eraser and I could basically erase everything that I just did. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do within the snipping tool and that's not what this tutorial is about but I thought that I would just add that um, in this tutorial. So that's how you assign a quick key and um, if you're a keyboardist it does make more sense to use 
quick keys as opposed to the mouse to do things. Okay, so I hope that that helps someone. Have a great day.